What's up guys, it's CH here from VP Media and uh, here's with, I think it's our sixth video with our how to build a CMS with PHP and uh, I know I said in the last video that we were done with uh, MySQL and PHP admin but I want to get those all out of the way right now so when we're done with these we could just go straight to PHP and not have to look back. So what I want to do is I want to get on my my local host and create a couple more tables. So go down here to PHP, my admin, and uh, where's my database? It was Sterling for this project. And the new name is we're going to call it Pages. You can call it Pages or Navigation. Number of fields, what do I need? I need ID, I need menu, position, visible, and content for this one. Okay, so we'll go with five. So there it is. They displayed it horizontally, which I can't stand because it's a lot easier to make mistakes, but I'm going to have to deal with it. So we're going to set the ID to the, the first field to ID, business as usual. Integer, three. We don't need any more than 999. And it's pretty safe to say at this point for your field for ID to set this as the primary key as well as auto increment. I, I think I've always done that. I don't think I've never not done that. I, it's, ID has always been my primary key. So we'll stick with that information. And for our second field, we'll go with menu. Again, we do not need a number for this. We need characters and we'll have it a max value of 30. Our third field, we will set to position. And we'll set it to integer as well. For our fourth field, we need visible. And again, we're, we need to set our character type of tiny int or tiny int, which um, is, is our Boolean. It checks for true or false or, or if it's on or off. I don't know how to pronounce this. I think I've been saying it wrong the whole time. I apologize. And then for our fifth field, for this one, we need content. Now, Varkar isn't going to do us any justice because the maximum characters Varkar can be is 250. So what we need to do is go to the next one down, which is text. Now, it's we're not going to put anything in here because it's unlimited. Um, I've never put a, a number on the length for my content. So this will work just fine. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this. And there it is. We have two tables. We have our information tables and we have our pages table now. Now we need one more table to get things going. So I'm going to go back to Sterling and I'm going to create another table on our database. And this one we're going to name users. So our admin, our staff, anybody who's working for the CMS can log in and set their uh, password and username up. So we need three fields for this. Go over here and we'll click go. Okay, ID, back to my vertical categories, which I like. ID, type, integer, length, three. Again, it could be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I'm not gonna have any more than a couple hundred people log into this. I don't know if I'm gonna have any. I might throw this away when I'm all done. Or I might keep it and build Spacebook and go against Mark Zuckerberg, but that's nor here or there, so. That's stupid. So we'll go to primary right here, auto increment, set that on. Okay, so for our next field, we need to set this up as username. I'm sure you can guess what the next one's going to be. Integer, var car, maximum length of, we'll call it 50. I've never had a password or a username more than probably 10 or 11 characters, but you never know. And our next, our next field, we're, it's password, but... We're, we're going to save this as an encrypted format, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, just stay with me and I'll explain this later on. But we're going to do hashed underscore password. And again, varkar, varchar, varkar. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what I'm saying half the time. I don't know if, it's, if I'm saying it right or wrong or if there's other people that are saying it right or wrong. But as long as we're on the same page, that's what matters. Uh, value length. Wait, wait. 40, 50, doesn't matter. So we got our primary key set to our ID, auto increment, and that should do it. Okay, so we have three tables over here. We have our information, we're going to have our pages, and we're going to have our users. So I'm going to have one more video that shows how we're going to connect our 
tables together because right now information pages and users they're all kind of their separate entities right now but I'm gonna have one more video on how we're gonna tie all of our tables together so I'll see you guys in the next video